Do you celebrate summer fun? The change from winter to summer was celebrated with dancing around the maypole. This tradition of maypole dancing is a great way to celebrate the new season. It is a joyous way to celebrate the start of spring with the Oak King and Ivy Queen. Dancing around a maypole is a jubilant celebration of new life in spring. Scholar Carl Wilhelm von Sino stated that maypoles were built simply as a sign of the happy season of warmth and comfort had returned. The maypole has been traced back to Greek and Roman times. The month of May is named after the Greek goddess Maya, and the oldest record of maypole is accredited to the Roman goddess Bona Dei, or Fauna. Flora, the goddess of flowers, was also honored with the festival of Floridia, which is also accredited with the celebration with a maypole. Separately, in Roman mythology, there is a story of Sybil, whose lover, Attis, Phygrian god of vegetation, was gored by a wild boar and bled to death under a pine tree. This distraught Sybil believed the spirit of Attis had then been transferred to the tree. So she had it cut down and brought back to Rome, where it was decorated with flowers and garlands. A period of mourning was then absorbed, observed, after which Attis' spirit was resurrected and restored to Sybil, symbolizing rebirth of all living things in the spring. As a result of this tale, a sacred pine of Attis was taken in procession or on a chariot to the temple of Sybil, an Antonian mother goddess of flowers and fruitfulness, and set up for veneration. The first of May has been celebrated as the crowning of the May Queen or Ivy Queen and her marriage to the Oak King. They would unite with hand fasting, a tying to signify their union and untying to signify their willingness to remain together of a ribbon in a figure eight about their wrist. This is where the term tying the knot came from. They would then celebrate by dancing around the maypole. Many May celebrate celebrations include the crowning of the May Queen followed by dancing around a maypole. The maypole has spiritual roots. It is associated with the celebration of the tree of life. The pole is said to represent the earth joining the air or sky in it, the ring. It has also been related to the tree as a masculine energy and the ribbons in the ring as a feminine energy. In different cultures, the ribbons have various colors and numbers of ribbons. The seven colors of the rainbow can be used to coordinate with the chakra system, crowned by the wreath representing the crown chakra. In numberology, it's said to represent the number 10, the pole being one, and the wreath and the dancing ringing at zero. Climbing the pole is also ascribed with ascending the spiritual path. The maypole is also related to cones of energy, like pyramids, teepees, and Christmas trees, which also represent a cone of energy. Although there is no direct connection here, it was mentioned often in the reading I did. These cones are also said to point our way to the next life, or he heaven. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is crowned the first of May, same as the May Queen. This practice dates back to the Middle Ages and was officially established in the 17th century. Various churches incorporated the May Pole in their May festivities. Villagers gathered around a summer rod at the Holy Trinity Church in Exeter, United Kingdom in 1588. Geoffrey Chaucer, the English poet, even mentions the annual May Pole at St. Andrew's Undershaft. In 1955, Pope Pius dedicated the May 1st to St. Joseph the Worker. Other sources suggest the tree represents St. Joseph and the wreath the crowning of St. Mary, Mother of Jesus. Jessica, in her blog, A Shower of Roses, talks about the maypole and more beautiful Catholic faith. She describes how she used it for a Pentecost celebration. Her version includes describing the aspect of faith to the colors of the ribbon, and weaving the ribbons as tying our faith together into something beautiful. A 1660s quote from Robert Henrik, the maypole. The maypole is up, now give me the cup, I'll drink to the garlands around it. But first unto those whose hands did compose the glory of flowers that crowned it. When settlers came to America in 1624, Thomas Morton set up a maypole and danced with village maidens, creating a stir. Today, many American groups dance the maypole dance to acknowledge the renewal of nature in spring. The Liberty Pole is very similar to the maypole. It is a tree or lance topped with a Phygrian cap or Liberty cap. The symbol began after Caesar was killed by liberators in 44 BC, who paraded through town with a Phileas cap, known as a freed slave cap, on the top of their weapons, representing freedom from oppression. 
And in Europe, 1750, the monument of St. George Browse set up a bronze female figure wearing a cap of liberty on a pole. During the Stamp Act of 1756 until its repeal in 1766, the Sons of Liberty erected liberty poles as a signal to meet and discuss defiance to oppression in America. These morphed into liberty trees, which, and the first was in Boston in 1765. Liberty trees then spread to France in 1790, where they planted young trees as a symbol of the French Revolution. In 1792, the liberty tree was officially adopted as a symbol of national freedom, revolution, and everlasting republic in America. The Maypole even influenced Labor Day worldwide. In 1894, Walter Crane declared the workers' Maypole to represent the cause of the employer's liability, eight-hour workdays, and the feeding of children. It represented the demands of the international labor movement. In 1886, May 1st, in the U.S. and Canada declared that workers' hours should be shortened to nine hours a day. This was ignored by employers, so workers went on strike May 1st. The Haymaker Riot in Chicago, Illinois. This led to the declaration that May 1st, 1890, would be Labor Day or International Workers' Day to bring attention to beneficial working conditions. Because of the association with the Haymaker Riot, U.S. President Grover Cleveland picked the first weekend in September to celebrate Labor Day. Now Canada and the United States of America celebrate Labor Day at the end of summer. The Maypole is a traditionally dance on or around the 1st of May, the summer solstice, or even the end of summer for Labor Day. Over time, it has become a fun activity to celebrate. Enjoy this Maypole how-to with the Oak King and Ivy Queen. Remember to like and subscribe to our line and check out all our fun films at www.adventuresindance.com.